in this video we are going to talk about the technical analysis for cardano for the year 2024 we are going to talk about my trading strategy regarding cardano and what are the short-term price actions in the time as of the time being cardano well stay tuned to know more so hi guys and welcome back to another gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype and if you haven't subscribed to my channel click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out our videos like this so for today's video we are going to talk about the cardano price action because it's been a while since we made a video regarding cardano and as what i mentioned in the previous video we are currently recently been seeing a massive altcoin season so what's a good way to start with altcoin season when in and it's by talking about one of the famous altcoins that we usapan and one of them is cardano so let's now dive into this so we are going to split this into three separate sections so first we're going to talk about the cardano price actions regarding the whole 2024 we're going to talk about how am i going to trade this and we are also going to talk about ano ba yung short-term price action as of this video so that para sa next video natin we can dive in sa mga, mga nagawa natin previous videos regarding cardano and we can see if ano ba yung nangyari after our previous analysis so let's now dive into this so typically the only time that you would want to enter into cardano is whenever na bitcoin dominance is declining because of course as what i mentioned in the previous video whenever the bitcoin dominance is declining that is indicating that altcoins are going to perform better so if the bitcoin dominance is declining then it's more likely now we are going to see certain altcoins go up and the best thing to do is to look at the top 10 market cap coins and one of them is actually cardano which is currently sitting at number eight and Cardano is actually a pretty much good coin because it's been a coin that we have been following for the past few years ever since 2020. And we have seen a lot of gains and a lot of losses in Cardano. So let's now dive into the chart regarding the Cardano price action. So if anyone could recall, we have seen Cardano actually reach around the $3 mark no on 2021. And that was actually one of the highest time when we saw the Cardano price action went up. And during those times, we mentioned diba, in the previous years that Cardano has that habit of consolidating for a very long time so that we can get a big pump. And that has been actually very been consistent in the past few Cardano price actions. As you can see, even in the current year, Cardano still has that habit of consolidating for a long time then so that we can get a big pump. Similar to what we are currently seeing right now, Cardano has been consolidating and has been seeing a massive gain now when it comes to zooming out and understanding kung ano ba yung price prediction natin for the 2024 the best thing to do is to look back and look at the previous cardano price action and look at the indicators so for me personally the way how i look indicators is by looking at the rsi kasi rsi is actually a good indicator in determining if overbought ba tayo or oversold so pag overbought ibig sabihin noon masyado na marami bumili so it's time to sell but if oversold masyado na maraming uh, walang cardano so in that case that is the good time to buy so if we're going to look back in time when cardano was around the 2020 siguro let's dive in further pa no 20, no 2018 to 2019 or 2020 cardano didn't went oversold so in this in that case we we didn't actually had any indicator na nagsasabi na Cardano was actually very oversold. And in fact, we don't have any prior data beyond 2018 kasi that's the earliest data that we can get. So, in this case, ang pinakam valid data na pwede natin infer is whatever na we are going to see from those massive pumps. Ayun na yung mga massive pump na yan. Tapos whatever, whatever data na nakita natin recently nung pagbagsak, yun yung first data pa lang nila. So, Ang compare pala natin when it comes to historical data is yung kanyang pagpump. So, so pagpump ni Cardano, as you can see, Cardano has this habit of seeing a halfway point. So, ayun o, akit mo na si Cardano to its halfway point. And the moment na maging overbought siya sa RSI, take a look at this guys. The moment na maging overbought siya sa RSI for the first time above 70, that is wherein we start to first see Cardano to see a bearish retracement or magkakaroon siya ng correction. So in that case, if nagkaroon tayo ng correction, dun yung pahinga ni Cardano bago siya magkaroon ng final pump to the upside. So, paano ba natin masasabi na andun na yung point na magka-time na for correction? So the best thing to do and the best way to look at this is by looking at RSI 
So as you can see, whenever now we are starting to peak for the first time, that is the first time na magkakaroon na first indication na malapit na tayong correction or malapit na tayong somewhat dump kay Cardano. So I know first time na nagkaroon siya ng peak. So and then after noon, there will be a lot of times na magkakaroon siya ng paakit pa rin siya ng paakyat. Pero at the same time, while we are seeing that, dapat hindi na tayo magda-dive sa mga shorter time frame like the daily time frame kasi in those cases, you might be potentially seeing some bearish divergence during those period. So let's try to look back in those period noong time na nangyari yun. So ito yung isang example on noong 20 kalamato 2020. So as you can see, even though napataas pa rin ng pataas si Cardano, ang kailangan mo din i-watch out dyan is ba sa weekly time frame, overbought na siya. In the daily time frame, you can see na kahit umakit siya, the RSI is declining. So in that case, that is a bad sign. So whenever now we are seeing a increasing price while RSI is declining, that is traditionally a bearish divergence. So that is going to indicate na we are seeing a bearish movement dito kay Cardano. So in that case, that is now an opportunity for us to re-enter into a new Cardano trade. So in that case, if nangyari yun, ano ba yung titingin natin? The next thing that we can watch out is for the next potential areas na where, wherein we can see yung potential support niya or potential na pwede tayo mag-enter. So in that case, the best way to find the areas kung saan tayo pwede pumasok kay Cardano is by looking at the daily time frame 200-day moving average. So that is the red line na meron tayo dito, 200-day moving average. Take note guys, if gusto nyo matutunan paano gumamit ng mga moving average at paano to i-apply sa charts nyo, you can check out our Gabs Crypto 101 playlist. It's available in the description down below. And doon nga tutorial videos natin on how to use those indicators such as RSI and moving averages. But going back, typically the best time to enter Cardano is whenever we are touching the 200 day. Because if you're going to look back in time, whenever na bit, whenever na a Cardano is touching the 200 day moving average, doon tayo nakakita na malaking pump kay Cardano. So I know whenever na nangyari ng 2020, touch ng 200 day, doon tayo nagkakaroon ng pump. Ganun din yung nangyari ng 2021, nagkaroon din ng malaking pump. And then recently, ganun din yung nangyari ngayon, after touching that 200 day moving average, doon tayo nagkaroon ng malaking pump kay Cardano. So right now, Cardano, if you want to enter into Cardano, the best thing for you to do is to wait for Cardano to go back to the 200 day moving average, which is you need to be very patient in waiting for that to happen. Now, there are times na tuloy-tuloy na siya pa, na paakyat, such as nung 2021. Nung nangyari, hindi na siya nag-touch sa 200 day. Ang nangyari is dire-diretso na siya. And ang, ano ba yung pwede mong gawin dun para, mag, para mag, maghanap ng panibagong entry point? If let's say hindi siya upward na 200 day. So another way na you can find another entry point is by looking at the 20-week moving average. So the 20-week moving average can be a good entry point then. So... Ay, no, 20 week moving average whenever na we are touching the 20 week dun din tayo nagkakaroon ng certain pumps din actually looking at this chart right now hindi lang 20 week but also the 20 day moving average kasi ay, no, 20 day moving average is also seeing a lot of bounces din dito kay Cardano so whenever na we are touching the 20 day that could be a potential or hindi na potential that is a good end entry opportunity but it's not the best the best would be the 200 day moving average. So, ako personally, when I'm going to trade this, I am actually going to do short term trades, yung pump and dump niya ng very short term. But when it comes to long term investment, I would actually wait for the Cardano price to touch a 200 day moving average. So, as of the time being, if gusto ko pumasok ng panibagong Cardano investment, hindi pa ako mag enter. Abangan ko siya mag correct sa 200 day moving average. Now, in addition, so weekly time frame kasi. If you're going to look at the RSI, sobrang overbought na tayo sa RSI. So, at some point, we are going to see a correction dito kay Cardano. But, ang good thing dyan is, first time pa lang nagpipik yung Cardano ngayon. So, ayun o. ba previously, nung first peak niya, yun yung first phase niya, tapos saka tayo nag-correct, saka tayo umakit nung final peak nung second RSI peak niya. Ngayon si Cardano, nasa first peak pa lang, so, pwede pa siya umakit within the next few weeks and next few months, but, do note na, personally, I'm expecting somewhat of a correction na muna bago tayo magpumunta sa final peak. So, the moment na mag mangyari yung final correction, doon tayo mag-enter ng panibagong Cardano trades at Cardano investment. Then, from there on, dire-diretso na yan tingin ko for me to the all-time high and doon na tayo makita na malaking Cardano move 
after we go after we see that final correction so for me for the year 2024 personally i would see cardano to i would like to see cardano to go up at the same time at some point within the year we are going to see that massive crash and yung massive crash ni cardano yun yung ating panibagong entry opportunity for the long term and then yun yung makikita natin na final pagakit ni cardano maybe around the end of 2024 or start of 2025 yung final increase ni cardano but in first half ni cardano It's looking good for the year 2024. Now, a lot of you will ask, ano ba yung target price natin dito kay Cardano? So, looking at this, I think the target price, the best thing to do is to plot a Fibonacci retracement from the previous high to the lowest low. So, as, as, as of the time being, Cardano, by looking at this Fibonacci retracement, we can see Cardano to go around the 80 or 90 cents for the first part of siguro January. Siguro 90 cents yung first target ko. And then after that, I'm going to target 1.3 US dollars. So, 90 cents and 1.3 US dollars is yung realistic price target ko as of the time being for the next few months. And ilang percent gain ba yun? That's around 98% as of the time being from the current price action. Actually, hindi 98. Let's try to plot it accurately. That's around 100% gain. Yeah, somewhat good area for us to see a good bullish tracement and good take profit area 1.3 yung maximum ko for the time being i don't think na we can see 1.8 muna but 1.3 yung aking realistic target ko so with regards to my trading strategy meron akong dalawang type of investment or dalawang trades kay cardano yung una is yung investment ko for the long term then yung pangalawa is yung short term trades ko so for the investment sa long term aabangan ko bumagsak si cardano ng 200 day moving average And as of the time, hindi pa, pa siya nangyari. So, yun yung aking first strategy ko. Bumagsak siya muna sa 200 day. Then, yung pangalawang strategy ko is yung mga short-term price action. Yung, yung mga if futures or leverage trade ko. So, in those cases, yung targets ko for those leverage trading is point is the 90 cents as well as the 1.3 US dollars. So, of course, from time to time, I'm going to give updates dito sa YouTube channel natin. So, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Para if ever na mag-post tayo ng panibagong Cardano video, hindi nyo siya ma-miss out. And, ayun. So, in yung aking personal strategy dito for the Cardano price action, trade ko siya for the very short term. and Pero yun nga, dalawa yung Cardano trades ko, long term pati short term. Na pag usapan na naman natin yung short term price action as of the time being. So, right now, Cardano is actually in a symmetric triangle dito. So, if this is in a symmetric triangle, it is a 50-50 move kung saan siya magkakaroon ng breakout, either bullish or bearish, depende kung saan siya magkaroon ng candle close. So, ang gagawin natin is we are going to get, we are going to plot a line from the height ng triangle, then lagyan natin siya sa possible point of breakout, tapos aabangan natin siya kung saan siya magkakaroon ng candle close. So, in this case, sa scenario na to, Cardano had a candle close above the resistance. So, in this case, we opened a long position dito. So, ang magiging target niya ngayon is the, ito. Ang magiging target ni Cardano as of the time being is around the 77 cents following the Cardano, following this symmetric triangle pattern. So, as of the time being for the short term, 77 cents yung target ko kay Cardano. This is following the 4-hour time frame. Now, some of you may say na this is a bull flag or bull pennant. So, if let's say this is a bull flag, then ang target natin is by getting this pole. Then, ang lagi natin sa point of breakout, then ang target natin is around the 95 cents if you're going to say na this is a bull flag. But for me, I'm going to follow the symmetric triangle as of the time being kasi, yeah, I like to take things step by step muna before na magkaroon tayo ng, ng malakihang trades. And I want to take things step by step muna bago tayo pumasok sa mga malalaking analysis. So, yun yung short term technical analysis ko for the time being dito kay Cardano. And take note, itong itong increase na to ni Cardano is around 21%. Let's say if you're going to open 3x leverage kay Bybit, so 3 times 21, that's around 63% agad na profit if you're going to open this on Bybit na may leverage. So, if you if you still don't have an account with Bybit, make sure to use our sign up link. It's available guys in the description down below. Pwede kayo makuha ng bonus mo up to 5,000 US dollars. So, yeah, a lot of opportunities right now with the crypto market and Cardano is one of them. So, I would like to end this video in saying that we still have a lot of opportunities in the crypto market. So, Cardano is just one of them. 
And personally, I would not stick to one coin. But if let's say gusto mo mag-stick to one coin, certainly ang kailangan mo is stick talaga is Bitcoin at hindi mo altcoins kasi of course, Bitcoin will still dominate the market. But yeah, Cardano is one of the good coins that I'm going monitor within the next few days, and next few months. So from time to time, I'm going to make videos regarding Cardano para kay to paano may update tayo. And I'll make sure na ito try ko mag-post daily mga videos natin para kay to paano tuloy-tuloy naman yung content din natin and hindi kayo maubusan ng content with regards to crypto updates. But yeah, yun muna update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.